Has your internet connection started dropping out or have your speeds come right down? Maybe it's rain. And no, I don't mean the weather. In this video, I'll tell you exactly what rain and shine are and how they can affect your internet connection. So if I'm not talking about the weather, why am I going on about rain and shine? Well, rain stands for repetitive electrical impulse noise. And shine stands for single isolated impulse noise. Now, if we start with shine, shine is a single burst of electrical interference that happens when a device is either turned on or turned off. Now, we tend to see this a bit more in business settings where they have maybe bigger electrical devices or electrical devices that have been there for a while that are turned on at the start of the day things like photocopiers, coffee machines, or even turned off, so things like their alarm systems, can give off this burst of electrical interference. And then you may notice the internet connection either drops or slows down for a very short period of time, and then everything returns to normal. An easy way to diagnose what device it is that's causing this shine issue is by getting a radio and doing some diagnostic checks yourself. Later in this video, I'll talk you through exactly what I mean by that and how you can diagnose shine. Next, however, we're going to look at rain. Now, rain, if you remember, is repetitive electrical impulse noise. And what that means is there's an electrical device that's giving off interference during the time it's being used. So these tend to be things like power adapters, so multi-plug adapters, or coffee machines, fridges, microwaves, some TVs. We've even seen it in the likes of baby monitors. And especially as we approach the end of the year, one of the biggest things we see rain in is Christmas decorations. Now, has your internet suddenly started going a bit funny? Have you just put up the tree? Or have you put up the lights on the window? Could that be why? How close is your router to these lights? What's between you and your router? Whatever the electrical devices are that are there, these could be causing interference. But how do you diagnose it? Well, the first step, is if you've recently connected something, disconnect it, as that might be what's causing it. So, for example, if you've just started using a new baby monitor and you're starting to experience internet issues, unplug the baby monitor. Is everything working fine now? If not, the next diagnostic step you'll need to do is to get an AM radio. So this is a little handheld FM AM radio that I've picked up from a local shop. Now, what you want to do is you want to tune the radio to frequency 612 or 612 on the AM band. And what that will do is it will give you a sound where you can detect rain. Let me show you. So if I turn this on, we're now on 612. And if you hear very faintly, you can hear the interference that's being given off by these lights. Even if I move away, we can still hear it. Now, the question is, is it the lights or is it the power adapter? Well, the way we can check that is by unplugging the lights. So if I unplug this, it stops. If I plug it back in, and as you can see, the noise is matching the flash of the lights. It's worth noting that all electrical devices can give off some form of electrical interference. And you'll notice this if you hold the radio directly to the device, and you'll see the sound changes. However, when trying to diagnose rain, what we're looking for is when you move the radio away from the device, the noise is still present. If that happens, it's likely that that is the device that's causing your broadband issues. Simply disconnect it and repeat any broadband checks you've done, and you should see that your service has returned to normal. If you're trying to diagnose shine, simply repeat the steps in terms of going to 612 on an AM radio, but hold it to the device and turn it on or off. You should see that the sound changes and that would indicate that that is the offending item. Another thing to note, those Christmas decorations that I just used to demonstrate in this video were brand new and they were still giving off rain interference. So don't disregard electrical items in your house just because of their age. 
as new devices can give off rain and shine just as much as old ones. So it's worth the check. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, do please click on that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, do please click on that subscribe button. Feel free to leave us a comment. And until the next video, thank you very much.